Anybody had many? How many here? Too many. Okay, one. How many of you have some right now? How many have gone through it? Some of you are looking at a storm, you know, no, another one coming. So how do you prepare for it? Jesus knew. Number one, Jesus knew and obeyed God's word. Second thing, he stayed connected with his father through frequent prayer. And number three, he submitted to the Holy Spirit leadership. If he, if he did that and demonstrated it, maybe it would be wise if we did it also. What do you think? When he left earth, the Holy Spirit didn't go with him. He was left here to empower us to continue to do what Jesus Christ did. John 14, 15, and 17 says, If you love me, you will obey my commands. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper who will stay with you forever. He is a spirit who reveals the truth about God. The world cannot receive him because it cannot see him or know him. But you know him because he remains with you and is in you. No excuse. This is a quote. I just read the other day. A person that has the word without the spirit will dry up. A person that has the spirit without the word will blow up. A person that has the spirit without, uh, has the spirit working through the word will grow up. A person that is proud that he has the word and pretends to have the spirit causes God to throw up. Okay, which one are we? We certainly need the Holy Spirit in every part of our life, not just some parts. But we need to give the Holy Spirit permission and ask Him to reshape our hearts to be more like Jesus Christ. He will not push Himself on us. We have to invite Him to work into our lives by choice. We need to ask Him. And He has God's very best plan for our lives. He knows exactly what needs to be done in our lives. But we don't ask Him. We don't lead Him. Uh, we don't follow His lead. Okay? But if we really want God's Spirit to work His wonders in our life, we must give Him the room to move. One of the challenges that we have is not the allowing the Holy Spirit, okay, the freedom to move at His pace, not ours. Why? Because we're in a rush. Some of us want to belong to the microwave ministry. Press a button, bing, bing, in a few seconds of God answers. Have you noticed the harder you try to push God, the more resistance you have, and the slower it takes. And that's important that you understand that we need to cooperate with the Holy Spirit to submit. We want instant gratification instead of delayed gratification. This is why we get in debt. We buy things that we can afford. We live in places that we cannot afford. We buy things out of status to improve people we don't like. It doesn't work that way. It happens in churches with good intentions. Sometimes there's parking concerns, there are seating problems, time limitations, insufficient now program elements, multiple services, and we cannot allow the Holy Spirit to move. We limit His time, okay, to 15 minutes is because we've got another service coming. We've got another ministry coming. We have reduced and quenched the Holy Spirit's raging fire into flickering embers. We don't have time to wait upon the Lord to renew his, our strength, to minister to our needs because we are such in a rush. Be still. Let God. Let go and let God. It can happen in our everyday lives with so many things to do, places to go, people to meet, deadlines to meet. Our business pushes the Holy Spirit into a corner and He waits for us to call upon Him. Hey, well, I'll get to you. I'll get to you. Because you understand your God. You understand what I mean? I'll, I'll get to you. Many of us become more fans of Christ instead of true followers. To remain vibrant and moving forward, we should individually and collectively stay close to Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit and you obey every command. If God says it, yea and amen. Not I know you, but. If God says give, give. Why? Because He has a blessing waiting. If God says serve, serve. 
If God said, forgive, forgive, why? God is a blessing. To remain vibrant and, 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 and moving forward, we've got to press in. Run to Christ, not away from Him. The Bible warns us not to grieve His Spirit. What it means is don't disobey Him. Just like parents are grieved when our children disobey us. Any parent can, yeah. Zechariah 3 says in closing, not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. The key to building God honoring, uh, God honoring life is yielding to the Holy Spirit's supernatural power. He wants and wants to work with us. He says that He's always for us. He promised never to leave us, in, even in our darkest moments. Acts 2.21 says, And it shall come to pass that everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I love this principle. Yes, God wants to save each and every one of us from eternal destruction and separation from Christ. But He also wants to save us from self-destruction in our everyday life. He wants us to lean on Him and to glean from Him. He wants to fill us up and refresh us. How many of you need your joy tanks refilled? Some of us are running on empty. Yeah. Lord, why? The joy of the Lord is your strength. Some of us are dragging our colleagues to church today. We got, got strawberries on our colleagues, right? Mm -hmm. Some of us have been fighting with, with each other, okay? In our cars. Mm -hmm. They will speak nice Christianese once you walk through this anointed gates. Aloha. <laughs> God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Hallelujah. Praise God. Walk out of here. There, 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 there. Sound familiar? Been there. Be filled with the Spirit. God wants to refill you. Okay? We need to. Some of us are running low. Anybody run out of gas and, you know, on your car? Okay? And some of us had to push our cars to the gas tanks. And, uh, anybody been there? Or call somebody? Okay? If your joy tank is running on fumes, Luke 11, 13 says, if you then be evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? Anybody? Just ask God, fill me up today, Lord. I can feel you. Fill me up with your joy again, Lord. The simple news is, the good news is, is it, it is as simple as asking. Ask, God says, and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will open. The Holy Spirit will meet you exactly where you are. He never leaves you. Okay? You can be filled right here, right now. All you have to do is ask. Remember, the answer is always no if you don't ask. He will come alongside of you and walk at your own pace. He will run the race with you, not somebody else's race. Your race with you. He's not in a rush. He won't leave you behind. He will pick up the pace when you are capable and when you're willing to. No excuse. You might say, oh, what about key? What about Elton? What do we know? What, what, what crystal is this? God says, Never mind it. I want to walk with you. Amen. Remember, some people might, okay, some people make things happen. Some people watch things happen. Some wonder, hey, what happened? The law of results. Nothing just happens. Whatever you sow, you will reap. Amen. Now, on the lighter side, I want you, okay, I don't want you guys just using, okay, Christianese in church. I want you to redeem God's word in your everyday situations. Amen? I want you guys to watch this. It'll make you smile. Then we'll come back. Finish line. Oh yes, run the race I have said before. Thirty percent off all 
things work together for good. Would you look at these here? Run and not grow weary, walk and not faint. Uh, no thank you. I don't need any skincare samples. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Oh, there are Starbucks, thanks to these streams in the desert. Look at these watches for such a time as this. Look at all this baggage. No thank you. I have left my burdens at the cross. Oh, that is better. Yes, all your very evil give you rest. Look at these knives. These are perfect iron, sharp as iron. <laughs> Oh, man does not live by bread alone. Hey, Adam, you want to take a bite of this? Mm-mm, man's original sin. Microsoft only for me. <laughs> he will not tempt you beyond what you can handle. Oh, sales, absolutely not. My treasure is in heaven. Pay less is having a sale. Lead me not into temptation. Oh, judge all you want to. You without sin cast the first stone. <laughs> I will dwell in the Nestle Toll House of the Lord forever. <laughs> I'll be in here for a sale and they don't have my size. Jesus, please, he who began a good work and you will bring it to conclusion. <laughs> right. So, how's your joy tank doing? Okay. Okay, Christians, have fun. Okay, being a Christian is the most fun that you will have. It is important that we do things with Christ for Christ. We need to love one another. Amen? Okay, how about a praise and worship team come up? We'll close with this. Spend a little time. We're just going to spend about two minutes in prayer. Okay? Bow your heads. Father, in the name of Jesus.